um, I'm speechless. Uh, I posted up a video the other day of saying how rare um, there was that I found a, a find in Cliff. This one pretty much overshadows it because I wasn't expecting this. And if you hadn't have guessed already, we're in a very special location that I found. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this is a World War II heavy anti-aircraft battery, complete with buildings. Known as TS-15. I am stunned. Literally stunned. Um, we need to get down there. The idea was it was a four gun anti-aircraft battery, massive, heavily reinforced. The idea was that where we're located in Cobham, this was going to protect most of the sort of crossing of the Thames from Gravesend, stopping all the Luftwaffe, and it would have been a mahoosive gun that you would have seen here. Now the placement is here. Don't worry, we're all going it. These are the buildings that are down here. Now, what I can see already is that it looks like the doors and the windows are heavily reinforced. So it's just heavy duty. There's even a slipway, which... I mean, my God. Let's look around here, look. To me that looks like the ammunition storage for it, for the magazine. Because of the way that the building's set out, you've got a gap in between. And the reason for that is obviously if there was an explosion, that you would have had a double sort of set of walls to uh, stop the explosion. Or to at least calm it down if there was a hit on this place. Yeah, I am in shock. Um, I didn't expect it to be this well preserved. It took me almost three months to research and do location for this. This is extremely rare, so for everybody looking at this, you're in for a massive treat, let me tell you, because I've literally had to risk a lot to get here. So, um, remember the reason why I'm doing these videos is to preserve the history, to encourage people to realise what they've got in their own backyard. But my God, this is biblical. Um, this has to be actually one of the best preserved heavy anti-aircraft sites that I've ever seen. I mean, ever seen, and I've been to a few. But this one is just incredible. Right, let's try and get down there. one of the gun emplacements that I'm standing in. Yeah. Most octagonal circular formation. You can see how big these bad boys were. This is incredible. Um, I'm a bit nervous actually. kind of so new to me, seeing something this well preserved. Let's go down to the magazine, which is what I showed you originally. I'll try and find the rest of it.
thing comes out again to more stable. You see, I haven't reinforced this with a thing. But you're getting there. Because we've had all the ammunition. The wall. The idea is obviously if there was an explosion, if we just shelter some of the blast, there was a hit on this place. Okay, let's have a look around. So I'm going to try and find and see if, well, if there's anything else left. I know there's something else that's left, which is the uh, barracks for the where, the where they would have stayed, the officers and the soldiers. I've got to go back to that. I've been past that already. I've seen quite a heavily forested part of, uh, of the area where I'm at. Um, I'm going to have a look around, see if I can find any more stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm, oh, this is incredible. So these massive guns would have been used for shooting down the Luftwaffe in World War Two. And uh, yeah, this is just eerie. It's really eerie down here. Um, but yeah, let's see what we can find. See you in a minute. Going placement number two. So it's set out in a trapezium formation. The idea is the magazine over there sits in the middle. Behind that is one of the other gun emplacements. This one's the second one. There should be four. And the barracks, what I'm looking for. Um, I'm going to try and get into this other gun emplacement, even though it's heavily wooded and heavily forested down here. Let's see what we can try and do here. Okay, guys, you have to bear with me because I'm stuck. <laughs> right, see you in a minute. Hang on. Okay, so we're at the front of gun emplacement number two. Your gun would have been in the middle. You would probably swing around on a pivot, aiming upwards, obviously. I shouldn't have done this one on my own, really. It's quite um, daunting. I 
ways of God knows what around there. I'm having to whisper at the moment. So if I can find the other, there's four objects actually I'm technically trying to find. And I can't find them. I can't find them. Technically they shouldn't exist. In fact I've managed to find three out of the uh, seven objects I should be finding is a, an achievement in itself. In fact they're really well preserved as well so they're not. Bear with me folks. I'm going to try and find the rest of them. Hope you're getting good views of this stuff. Okay. Right directional wise where have we got to go? See you guys in a minute, all right? Going placement number three. This is the worst terrain I've ever been in. And I mean that wholeheartedly. You gotta imagine how big these guns were when they were out here. I hope you guys can pick all this stuff up. It's forming in a circular pattern, so it's part of it. Run right the way around. Man, this is killing me. This one, absolutely killing me. Okay, so I'm gonna put you guys up there for a second. What I'm having to do is I'm having to uh, reload my ki my kit bag because at the moment it's just becoming a nuisance. It's becoming too much stuff around me. I keep hearing voices. It's just crazy. Sorry about this one, it's pretty uncomfortable viewing for a lot of you. But I'm trying my best here. Okay. Hope you're still with me. Don't need that. Sorry. Let's go find the others. I know where one of them is. I know where the barracks is, that's fine. I've got to find the command bunker, if it's still here. And number four, gun battery. Okay. Let's try and find it. Okay. I'm really worth swear now. I'm literally swelling up, being stung more times than anybody can imagine. My whole arms are turning red. This is easily the worst I've ever had. I found the command post. Here we are. So this would have been the base of operations to find where the guns were. Still got to find one more gun emplacement. I'm really hurting. Shouldn't have done this on my own. Covered in God knows what. At least one of these ones today, no matter what you could have been wearing, whatever you've done, my legs are in a terrible state. This would have been so difficult to get into. 
I'm doing this one for you out there, so it's well documented. Now what I was looking at when I was pointing out before was the edge of this. It sort of goes into a almost like a jigsaw pattern. Now, I'm pretty sure this isn't the gun emplacement. It looks like the command bunker because of how much reinforcement there is. There was something in the others. They should all be exactly the same octagonal. So, like I said, I've still got one to find in the barracks. I'm not repeating myself, but I have to remind myself as well. So, let's see if we can get in. Okay, put you down there. what's in here. Hello? This is massive. Go in here. Hello? complaining about what I'm wearing today. I'm experienced in doing what I'm doing. It doesn't stop me from sort of getting scratched up. It's the terrain that was difficult. Door bracket's still here. Let's go in. Looks like that would have been elevated up. I wonder if that's what I think it is. Is that a fire? Yes it is. Look, with the chimney. Sugar, don't swear, don't. Oh, graffiti. People have actually found this. Oh. Some candles. Never ever do one of these on your own, like what I'm doing. Unless you're really experienced and you know what you're doing. You know what to look for more than anything else. Do not attempt these on your own. Saying that, that <laughs> is a fireplace. With the name of the Make the brick. Can you see that, guys? It's there. It looks like a chimney. They did have fireplaces in these buildings. Obviously in the winter time. You can imagine how bad that would have got. This is mega big though. This is what's freaking me out. There are only six Six placements plus the barracks part. Command post where I'm standing is in the middle of the others. So by my reckoning, the find that there's a spoke or not a leg. That is disgusting. Oh my god, you're big and you're disgusting. Look at that fudging thing. Get off. Right. big was this AA battery. I meant business when they were coming in here, didn't they? I've never seen anything like this one before in Kent. Let's go out. I'm blown away by it. I'm also in a lot of pain.
I will be doing a video at some point on urban exploring and tips what to wear and etc etc like I said I've been doing this for uh, over 10 years no 16 years now of my life and still things like this absolutely amaze me I wouldn't say this is technically urban exploring although it is but you ain't going to get a rarer find than this one now let's, I want to because I'm not really in a rush to get back now I mean, oh sorry, in all, in all honesty, you can see it's been inhabited before by stables, there's a horse field over there, but nothing like this before in my life if I've ever seen this, I really wish somebody had come with me, but hey it's just the way it is, you learn new lessons don't you, you should never ever do urban exploring on your own, not like what I do. Um, was it sometimes I'm with people sometimes I'm not this one I'm not I do regret this like I said but this was a massive AA gun battery no question about it significant they meant business I'm sure it still would have been forested around here anyway there is a uh, the original map shows the actual forest line anyway so it would have been under pretty big cover but when you saw the magazine of what I showed you that's immense nothing like that before I'm debating which way to go back. I'm probably going to go back that way just so I can show the magazine one more time for you guys. Or I might not, I don't know yet. If I don't, don't be offended. You've seen it all in there anyway. Alright guys, one more find to go. Technically two. But the other one, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get in there. Uh, because I walk past it. And that's just so heavily forested. It's un it's untrue. You can see it, but nasty. Alright guys, I'll see you in a minute. Alright, bye. Guys, you're just gonna have to take my word for it. But I've tried and I've tried, but the uh, I really hate it when I have to say something like this. But the fourth AA gun battery is covered, it's literally covered. Um, there's no way you can even see it, barely. I could barely sort of see the out perimeter of it. It's just too covered in stinging nettles, and it's just massively overgrown. But it was there. And I can assure you that one, but I couldn't even film it, it was just sort of like having to use the eye of faith in terms of the structure itself. So sorry I didn't get to show you the fourth one. Man, I'm in a lot of pain. Um, yeah, so final thing to find is the barracks, which I know where that is thankfully. Uh, we'll go and go have a look and then hopefully find it. So uh, let's do this. So like I said, sorry about the fourth one, but it's just too overgrown, I can't even barely even get in it with the eye of faith. Even if I was to record it, it would literally look like this. You know, you wouldn't even know, but they're, they're exactly the same as the other three that I've shown you. Uh, like I said, octagonal in shape, etc, etc. Right, I'll see you in a minute, let's go. So welcome to the accommodation barracks for 76th Regiment. They would have been stationed here. Let's try and get in. We're gonna have a nosy. Bloody hell, it's big. Uh, <laughs> this is impressive. If I can get into it. This is only part of what would have been here. So these are sort of. Some of the some of the remains which have been sealed up for obvious reasons. Let's see if we can get another look in. Yeah. So brick lined, which you would have expected. And that's it. Well. <laughs> Should we try and Should we try and yeah let's let's come on. I know what you're thinking. See if we can get through. Uh, 
the wooden structure's still here, which is nice. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm kind of cut up as it is already. So, whatever, I might as well just carry on. <sighs> So you can see it would have stretched out, would have been the accommodation for the boys and uh, a lot of rubble, etc, etc. So there you go. Uh, let's try and walk our way back in. It's quite impossible actually to sort of get in here, to be fair. See, this is everything I've been dealing with today. Stingy metals and the menagerie stuff. This is quite unstable, this structure. Jesus. Looks like outhouses to me. And you can see where the bricks would have carried on going on the top there. Okie dokie. Let's try and get the out of here. This one's literally almost killed me. Where have we got to go? Oh. This way is it? Oh. Okay. Oh, God. There's a van that went past. All right, thank you so much for watching as always. Really hope you appreciate what I've done today. I did it for myself as well, so you don't have to feel that sorry for me. For my self-punishment. Managed to find seven out of the six. Uh, managed to, uh, to re yeah, just hope you really enjoyed this. To me, probably by the time I edit this, I'll be like, God, I actually did that. That's mental crazy. Um... And I should be so proud of myself, really, because it's one of those really rare ones that oh, I'm probably going to start chased by dogs now. That um, this history needs to be rediscovered. I was quite impressed actually. Somebody put some graffiti on down there. That was quite impressive. So whether they were historians or not, I don't think people like me and probably some of you people out there want to tag stuff, do you? Really? So um. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to shut up now, mentally drained, mentally exhausted, wasn't expecting that at all today, That's, like I said, easily the worst one I've ever done. So, thank you as always for watching, as you know, it was places like that, those big AA guns, that kept the Germans from coming in, you know, turning us into you know, God knows what would have happened. You know, if the Luftwaffe had carried on their invasion of the Blitz. Sounds contemplating. It's places like that where we should be contemplating it. 
is getting lost, lost in history. I kind of prefer it that way because I know some people like to destroy things, but uh, for me, it's an experience nonetheless. Thank you so much, like I said, as always. Hopefully, hear from some of you some nice comments would be cool. And uh, see you, speak to you very soon. See you later. Bye.